Okay, this is a Mimeo Teach in, in the box. You're going to open the box, and these are the items it has. The Mimeo Teach bar, the pen, the USB adapter that will be connected to your laptop, the cable that you'll be able to charge your Mimeo. You're going to open it up. And it, for it to charge with the outlet, you have the adapters there. Two of them will come, but you only need one. Okay. It also has the CD, the software, but your laptop should already have the software. In the box, there's also 1 through 10, how to connect. You can skip 2 because you already have it and you're pre-installed in your laptop. Okay, this is how the Mimeo teach will be connected. It should be aligned to your projector and your screen and connected to the nearest outlet. And then you're going to take out the pen and it has a little strip. Open the pen, take the strip out, put it back because that's going to it needs to get be charged before you use it. So you're going to put it right here so it can charge before you use it. And it turns green. It's connected to the Mimeo bar. Once your Mimeo is charged overnight, then you're going to connect the USB to your laptop and it's going to turn green that means it's already synced to your laptop okay once it's ready to use you're going to first calibrate you're going to push the button at the top to calibrate then you're going to grab your pen your Mimeo pen and you're going to press it to the point Now it's already calibrated. You, you're going to do that every time you move the Mimeo bar. If you don't move it, you don't have to calibrate. After you're in the desktop, now you can launch your Mimeo Studio notebook. Your pen is already activated and it should open. Sometimes you have to connect it directly so you can get the full version of the software and you'll get a message when the device is ready to use and it's already ready to use in the Mimeo notebook. Mimeo Studio Notebook has a very similar menu bar like Microsoft Office. It has your file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, and help. In file, you can create a new file, open, save, and print. Over here in the bottom, you also have the open, the save, the print, the cut, and the copy, undo and redo, zoom in, zoom out, previous page, next page. We're going to go to tools to click on tools. This tools you can move around. It has your cursor, you zoom in, the pen, the highlighter, the eraser to type text. You also have the gallery of browser, the applications. So let's start with a pencil. 
you can change to different colors. You have your highlighter. You have your eraser. You also, so you can type. Highlight it, increase the size, change the font style. Bold it, italicize, underline, you can center it. Let's go to the Galleria browser. And it's the Mimeo Studio Galleria. You also have tools right here, the reveal, spotlight, text tools. You can record yourself, more tools. Now back to the Galleria. The Galleria has templates from different subjects, math, science, biology, plant, space, weather, chemistry. You also have social studies, sound effects, questions, results. You also have images. You can click and drag inside your lessons, resize them. You have templates with maps and charts backgrounds. Let's insert a new page. Insert new page. You want a four chart column. Just click and drag and you can use them for your lessons. And then you can just go save and save it as a Mimeo Studio lesson. We go in and you already have Mimeo Studio first lesson. You can also insert a file. We're going to insert a new, new file. And it can be Word, PowerPoint. So we're going to insert a file. And we're going to search for a PowerPoint there is already made. Opened it. We're going to delete the first slide. So you already have five slides already made. You can use your tools to highlight or your pen to circle. And you can also erase and save it for your next class. Here you can also insert a new page to add to that lesson. Click and drag. So that lesson already has your PowerPoint plus column chart that your students can come up and write. And you can use it for different periods and you can save. So the Galleria has different templates, variety of templates that are made that you can use. There are different lessons that you're already creating an ad or you can create with the different templates as well.